Hey Quest 2 community, today we're going to be taking a look at Rhythm of the Universe Ionia, a full playthrough. Uh, the game was originally developed for PC VR, but did get a Quest 2 port upon release. The PCR version really brings out that wow factor that you're looking for when you get into VR. However, the Quest 2 version of it does have some severely downgraded graphics with it. It's not a terribly long game, and while I do consider the game to be an adventure puzzle type game, I also myself consider it to be an interactive experience with a bit of puzzle solving. Um, it's a it's a pretty interesting game, so let's just go ahead and jump right on into it and take a look. Yes, into the Locrian War. Lands fell victim to the demise, Salias Locrius. of years, Modus Masters, the ones who control sounds and vibrations, have chosen one protector for each land. Okay. Ionians heard their elders speak of a harpa, the protector of the Ionian forest, who was deeply injured. But for reasons unknown, they chose not to send help. Pretty interesting story. In Pangea, members of its youth possess a rare power to control the vibrations of the universe. This power forbids them from language, allowing communication to happen only through sounds. Okay. So we can't talk, we can just make sounds to each other. Driven by curiosity to see the forest, two children, Allegra and her brother Allegro, set out to secretly venture outside the sacred city's walls to save the Harpa themselves. So that was just the tutorial and backstory, huh? Okay, I guess we'll actually check out the first level now, so... Rhythm of the Universe, Ionia. Show him. Save the harbor ourselves. But 
We haven't much time to waste. And Roger that. still technically not supposed to be here. So follow me out. and do exactly as I say. Come on! Where are we going? Uh, you just hit that cherry branch thing there. Oh, come on. Oh, bloody hell. stuff I know that learn that in the tutorial all right so what are we doing These hands are definitely kind of shaky. Could just be my graphic settings though. So what am I supposed to do, young lady? Or fish thingy? So get this out of the way, right? Can't go over there. Bet my ass wasn't supposed to climb. Jump back down. Huh? Let's try that again. to go from here. Aha. Yeah. Aha. You can't see it until it gets close to you. Whoa. You can't see anything. there. 
stone tablet. And it disappeared. Okay. So then. Where shall we go from here? Open up the door for you, right? Or did I open it up for me? Oh, maybe I opened it up for me. It's an ancient succumba. I remember seeing Babaton use it, but he never taught us. I wonder how it works. <coughs> okay. So two, three. Allegro, don't move. It looks like young Prosaurus is coming over. Oh, he is. Oh, look at him. Look He's at him. I am looking at him. He's massive. He looks like a saxophone. What the heck is that? That's Gross. disgusting. Maybe we're a bit too close. You think? Isn't it spectacular? Our ancestors fought side by side with the Brosaurus in this valley to preserve harmony. No good. Oh. Thanks for coming with me. Uh, well, technically, sure? you really didn't have a say, but you know what I mean. I don't really know where we're going, but we are definitely going up. I mean, I could pretty much jump from... I can't jump. Oh, yeah, I can. I'm using the wrong hand. There we go. That's the best idea. expansion of space, not yet defined by time. Allegro, listen. And in a single beat, rhythm shook into existence. Pulse, the vibration of Pan's drum 
time became relevant and Ut was born. Ut. Like a crab. Next, there was Sol, a symbiotic tone that resonated with Ut and held the concept of knowledge. Awareness, she went on to create Ray, La, Me, See, and Fa. Well, they all sound like music now. In unison, Pan and her tones make beautiful harmonies throughout their universe. She called them the Hepticards. The rhythms of the universe. Interesting. So, this is where I just woke up from a dream. So, let's get moving down this hallway here. to make that. That's fantastic. But what are they in front of? I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh, that's 
not music. Um, music. It's an S. That's not music. Oh, there's music. right here. There we go. So and I guess you gotta get those keys right there. So we have this little machine right here. Too far. Hmm. Got some more symbols over here. Well, shit. Kind of close. Pangea from Avatar, and the music kind of feels the same. Hmm. So there's a rope going from dude's face to this dude's face. Get down. Hmm. Where are we going? Allegro, can you hear me? I can, but I can't see you. Allegro. Oh. Allegro. Oh ho. 
Yep, I hear you. Allegro? Hey, fish oh. girlfriend. Oh, thank Ooch, you're okay. I was so worried. I was lost and it was so dark. Mm -hmm. I found a path that led me out. Awesome. I didn't know how to find I did you. Too. But, it was a long story. Huh. Seems like you had a great ride. Nah. It was alright. Can't complain. So where are we going now? Waiter for Marta. These are the Ocarina Springs. What is Come that on. thing? We have to get a closer look. Like some kind of giant rhinoceros? Alien? Oh no! Look at this one! What happened to you? Good question. What is all this black goo on the ground? I wonder if this is what's making her sick. Is that its hmm. blood? I hope not. Ocarinas usually have lots of colors. If they're gray like this, it means something's wrong. That one's red. They protect themselves by blending in with nature. And when they're healthy, so... they generate Look, beautiful harmonic tones from their nostrils. I don't hear anything. How can this be? How can we help her? I think. Yes. I remember now. The Morocco fruits. They're natural remedies for the ocarinas. They tend to grow under large Ionian mushrooms. See if you can find a couple. They're the ones that are red and glowy. The ones that look like someone took a bite out of them? I've seen a few of those around. Red and glowing, huh? That's kind of red. Oops. Some more climbing. I saw a couple of them up here. It's a good thing I threw three down, right? Hey, hey. Another one? Oh, touch my hand. Another one. It's glowing again. Really 
anything about this. Huh. Something must not be right. Huh. Uh. Just be careful, Allegro. Another Sukumba. Well, uh. now we know the Elders designed them to respond to the environment. There's got to be a clue somewhere. Probably by me playing something on this, but I don't know what to oh, play. What's this over here? You see something? Besides that extremely red flower? Could this be a clue? You're not very helpful, are you? that way. Aha. Uh -huh. huh. So... Could this be a clue? You're not very helpful, young lady. <laughs> Backwards to begin with, but wait, Allegro. It's the what? spirit of the forest, the Pantois. <laughs> Whoa, for the giant turtle. Right, this is gonna take a while. Pantois is one of the most majestic creatures of all the forest. He does not let anybody just simply pass. There are stories where people have starved in front of him for days. According to the Book of Nozamas, we need to maintain eye contact, respectfully bow, and stay that way until he decides to move aside. Uh, let's hope it only takes a few. Uh, Allegro? Um, what's happening? Is that like a platform? Wait a minute. Is he really gonna let us ride on his shell? No way. Looks like today's our lucky day. <coughs> I guess so. Come on. Well, I would if I could. Oh. Oh. 
Thanks, turtle. Thank you, Mr. Pantoise. Bye. Wow. I bet no one has done that before. Probably someone has done it before. We just happened to get lucky. Oh. Where are we? Now what do we do? I'm thinking it's another puzzle. Well, that's not good. Oh, the game totally crashed on me. Did Steam crash on me? Are we still recording? God. No one speaks this anymore. Oh my oot. Allegro, we're here. It's Where the gate here? to the sacred garden Hopodopia. The heart of the Aeonian forest. That okay. means the harbor is just beyond this wall. Well, that's huh. fantastic news. I think I have to. Yes, I must sing these lines. <laughs> Let's hear it. Okay. That's cool. Props, young lady. like a big thing that I was playing music on earlier. Got a bigger version. What is this? Water? Not all too late. Babaton? Mm. What are you doing here? Like a giant you mosquito? told us not to meddle in nature's affairs just yesterday. Well, yesterday was yesterday. And today um, is today. <clears throat> and what are you doing here, miss? I thought I told you not to do anything and to stay uh, put. I mean, she was showing me around. I'll just talk about the harbor and all. Oh, oh you were prying. Hmm? Sort of, yes. But that's not the point. You taught us how to communicate with her, and... Oh, well, I thought maybe we could do something. See something even you might have missed. Oh, so now you're questioning my powers, are you? 
You told us to always question your power. Oh, so much sass, not enough for us. What? But my child, I know you mean well. But it is dangerous out here. Now, there's no harm in wanting to help others in need. Uh, never be ashamed of that. But I'm afraid your... your might is a little tight on time. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, I'm sensing pain. A lot of pain. Her rhythm is fading. What do you mean? Oh, war, war, war. Uh, the war! War has spread its destruction to the forest. I mean, the Triton army already occupy most of it, depleting this place of all its resources and forcing our majestic wildlife to seek refuge. This, this war is not theirs to fight, especially not her. You see, Harper's wings harmonize with the forest. It's where her energy comes from. If there is no forest, well, well there is no Harper. So... We do nothing. But what about the pant voice we saw on our way here? And the vision I had? He he was all alone and no, Will he but, also not make it? Well no 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 that's not possible. No no. We helped all of them relocate weeks ago to their new nests. You know how hard they are to convince to <laughs> Um we definitely saw one. And it let us right on its shell. It was so unusual. It was making all you these kidding me. weird noises, and oh, I thought we'd be stuck for hours, but it looked right at Allegro like it knew him. Oh, of course, of course, of course! There, there isn't a moment to waste! Oh, my goodness gracious! No, now come, come, child, come. She hasn't got a lot left in her. Uh, what's going on, Maestro? Son, we, we have to heal the Harper. Now, I cannot do it alone, but you, my boy, with your help, we might. What do you mean with his help? Allegra, your brother here is a crystal child. Well, then that explains the behavior of Pantoys. He was communicating with them. Really? Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. Well, almost sure. Almost. Yeah, well, I mean, there's only one way to find out. Even the great Katerian Moduses cannot communicate with Harper. But possibly your brother can. Now, come, follow me. Now, uh, don't rush. Don't rush. Feel the vibrations as we conduct. Before the elders realize that oh, we're gone. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm afraid, I'm afraid. You two can no longer return home. Huh? We must get you to the Shakuhachi Temple. It's not safe here. Especially for him. All the way to Phrygia. But this is our home. I thought a Pangea is your home. <laughs> Ionia is but a house. <laughs> and war is upon your doorstep, Allegra. Okay. 
can't ask us not to defend what is ours. I've always admired your passion, Allegra. And I know you have so many questions. But now, my child, is not the time for lecture. I promise you, I will tell you everything on the way. Now, come now. You did it! You saved the Harper. And with your purchase of this game, you're helping an even bigger mission, <coughs> protecting Earth's wildlife. I'm Robert Irwin, and on behalf of the Wildlife Warriors Worldwide, thank you for your contribution. Wildlife Warriors Worldwide is a non-profit organisation based right here in Australia. We aim to be the most effective wildlife conservation organisation in the world by supporting the protection of injured, threatened and endangered wildlife. And with donations from people just like you, we're able to treat not only up to 10,000 injured and orphan wildlife patients at our hospital, but also contribute to worldwide wildlife conservation. Whether that's protecting rhinos in Kenya, cheetahs in South Africa, or even the beautiful Sumatran tigers, it's thanks to you that we can make a difference. And together, we truly can change the world. One game, one animal, one species at a time. Thank you.